just to explain when this was carried out on, on, on you. I was a week old um, in my home country of the Gambia. It's um, a part of our culture. When a girl is born, normally we go through FGM when we're anywhere from a week to a month old. And, and I think it happened to your half-sister as well, but, but she then died as a result of this operation. Exactly, and not only my half-sister, you know, all the time we hear about girls that have been through FGM that couldn't take it, that bleed to death, and this is something that happens on it, you know, normally all the time. You hear about it, you see it, and it's just something that has to end. When, when, when it happened to you and when you were old enough, did you discuss this with your parents? And, and, and I wonder if the reasons they gave for wanting it to happen to you still apply to lots of parents today? Well, when I realized the effects of FGM, my mom had already passed away. And um, it's not something that I was comfortable discussing with my dad. But I think the reason why they did it to me was because they thought they were fulfilling their parental duties. And this was something that they have to do because it's a culture that they've acquired over thousands of years. And this is something that they're very passionate about. This is something that they believe in. And it's hard to change their minds. They think this is what's right for their daughters. And it's just misconceptions that, you know, they've acquired for a long period of time. And does that cultural link, that cultural hangover, still apply today? I mean, how many people do you think are having FGM imposed on them now in the 21st century? I mean, when we first started this campaign, you know, I was under the impression that FGM was something that, you know, parents send their kids abroad and have them circumcised and then they bring them back. But throughout this campaign, we've received calls from girls all over the United States. And they're saying they actually have cutters right here in the United States. Girl are, girls are being cut in communities that perform FGM right here in our own backyard. And no one is saying anything about it. No one is doing anything about it. And um, it's very, very prevalent, not only here in the United States, but throughout Africa and in some countries in the Middle East. So is the United States doing uh, enough about this? Are there education programs uh, being put out there? None, absolutely none. The United States has passed laws. They've made transporting girls out of the country illegal, but they just have laws on paper. They don't have any educational material, even though all of the laws that they've passed have a provision in it for mandatory education, but none has been anywhere. Doctors are not aware of FGM. Every time that we go to a hospital, they look at us like a freak show. They don't know how to handle FGM. School officials, when girls go to them and tell them that I've just been cut, they don't know how to handle it. They treat it like a culturally sensitive issue that they don't want to get involved in. These are things that we have to change in this country. There is no reason why you should be in a country like the United States and still be at risk of something as inhumane as FGM.